What's going on everybody? Kelly and I'm bringing you a brand new video today. So today we're actually out in Kentucky at a course called South Fork Park. I'm actually out here and we are going to be having a full day of disc golf. I am so excited about the day that we are about to have out here. So I'm out here at South Fork Park playing a quick 18 holes before I actually head over to Idlewild to watch the pros play. I am so stoked to get back out to Idlewild and watch all the pros actually get to throw and play um, and check out some of the fly marks that are going on at the course. I figured I'd start out the day by filming some YouTube videos. I mean, it looks like one of the highest rated nine hole courses that I've ever been to, which is super cool to see. I guess this course has a lot of different types of shots. You throw over water, longer holes, so it should be a really good time out here. Film a quick 18 and then head over to Idlewild to watch the pros play. Actually not going to be putting any of the Idlewild coverage or anything like that in the in the vlog here today. I'm going to be filming some of that over on my TikTok. I'll have that linked down in the description down below. You can check that out. There'll be some behind the scenes stuff there. But today we're just going to be filming a front and back nine out here at South Fork Park. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, hole one here. It looks like the starting holes are pretty open actually. So this one is going to be 331 feet straight ahead no obstacles really in the way at all to start out the round so i'm going to take my trusty s line dd3 start out the round with the forehand here hopefully we can start this round out with the birdie here in kentucky so let's see what we can do big skip oh that's gonna be really short but we should have an open approach to the basket. I'm so stoked today to get out and have a full day of disc golf. We are going to be having such a great time out here playing a brand new course. I've never been here before. This is going to be my first time ever playing this little nine hole course. And then we're gonna head over to Idlewild, which I've been to before for, I believe it was two years ago. I actually went with my buddies and we checked out a tournament on the Disc Golf Pro Tour. So we're gonna go do that again today, just myself out there and hopefully have a good time and hopefully buy some discs as well. Come up pretty short here, but we should have an easy approach towards the basket. I'm gonna take my 350 GPA three. We're not gonna start out with the jump foot. I'm just gonna throw this one up there and maybe try and throw it in the basket here. Terrible approach shot, but we should be able to get make up for the par. There we go. Hole two here at South Fork Park. We're gonna have our first hole that plays over water. You can see the basket right there. All of that where the tall brush is right there, right below that is going to be some water. All right, so this one is going to be 284 feet with a little bit of water right there as well. I'm gonna take my Kevin Jones signature F5 on a backhand and just try and have it drift a little to the right and hopefully end up just off to the left of the basket just a tiny bit. Ooh, gonna be off on the left side a little short, but we did make it over on the water. I'm super stoked to check another course off on the list here for myself. This one I just found on Udisc actually was looking up something other than Boone Woods and Lincoln Ridge here in Kentucky. Both of those would have probably taken me too much time to actually get a front and back nine in before heading over to Idlewild. So far, I'm actually loving this course. It's super nice looking, especially for a nine hole course. I can see why it's so highly rated on Udisc. You can see this is the creek that we just threw over right here super cool there's a couple few holes that actually play over the river i think it on new disc it said from the reviews it was like two or three that you play over like i mentioned with this second hole we're going to be off to the left just a little bit but we should be able to get up and down hopefully give it a run at birdie and if not make up for the par That is going to put us at even through two holes now here. Like I have mentioned in previous videos, if we have never played a course before or if we're looking or we're coming back to a course, we like to stay around even. And so far through two holes, we are through even. The one thing I do like about playing nine hole courses is that you're going to get a second rep through for the full 18. So we're going to head into hole three here and see what we can do. Hole 
three here. It's going to be 404 feet. This one you can't actually see right now. You're going to want to have to hyzer something right at about those bushes out there and have something crash into that left side so it sets you up for a good second shot. All right, I'm gonna take my Star Destroyer here, hopefully pump this thing out just a, off to the right just a tad bit and have it finish off to the left towards the basket. This one is a par four, 404 feet, so hopefully we can get up and down towards getting a birdie on this one. Not sure if we're off the fairway, but we'll walk up there and see if we have a clean shot towards the basket. The basket's just tucked back right there. We did end up in the fairway, so we'll have a short approach to get up and down. That's it. That'll do. So this is actually for birdie. This would be huge here. There we go. Big birdie to put us one under through three. Hole four here is going to be 339 feet. It's going to be down there just a ways slightly off to the right. So I'm going to take a forehand DD3 here. Hopefully have it flexed out just a tiny, tiny bit and have a nice finish towards the end. Ooh, if they got a good skip, we should be pretty close to the basket. So we actually came up pretty short of the basket, unfortunately. But we're going to have a jump putt at this and try and run this thing in the basket for birdie. Oh, that almost went in. All right, we will clean up the par, move on to hole five. This next hole, hole five here, is going to be super uphill walk, actually. And I think you tee off down across the hill and the basket sits on top of the hill. So we're going to walk up this huge hill here and find out. Hole five here at South Fork Park, gonna be 255 feet. We're on top of a hill, have to throw across to there on the other hill. As you can hear, I'm very winded. This is probably, here I'll try and show you actually how far up here we are. You can see all the way down there is hole three's tee pad. So we are actually way up here, which is super cool. This is gonna be an awesome hole. All right, so we do have a slight headwind actually. So I'm gonna take an overstable mid, a disc that I've not actually thrown on camera yet. It's one of my favorite mids that I that I actually have in the bag. I've unfortunately not been able to use it too much at the courses that we played so far, but this one's looking pretty good. It's gonna be the Discraft, the Signature Series, Adam Hammett's Wasp. I love this disc. I actually prefer this over a Buzz actually. It has the stability that I'm looking for at the end, and I actually don't mind the, the bead that it has on the bottom there, as you can see. So we're gonna try this one out. Hopefully get it out there pretty straight at first and have a slight finish and hopefully not roll down that massive hill across there. Nice, we actually sat on the side of the hill there and we we're gonna have an open putt at it. We should be able to get the birdie. Oh, we hit off the top. Super, super solid hole. We didn't get the birdie, but we did get the par. That has been one of my favorite holes here so far. Hole six, this one is going to be, we are standing on top of a hill. It's gonna dip down and then the basket is going to be 198 feet straight ahead up on a hill. I'm gonna take my trusty 350 GPA three, put a little bit of power into this thing so that we can get it to fly straight and not have too much of a finish at the end. So hopefully we can land somewhere on top of that hill over there close to the basket. We went way, we went past the basket. Hopefully that sat on the back of that hillside there and hopefully it didn't roll down. There we go. That's a big birdie. That's gonna put us, that's gonna put us two down through six holes now. A right, hole seven here at South Fork Park is going to be a tight tunnel shot, about 295 feet straight down there. We do have water on the right and rough on that left side there. So we're gonna need to take something pretty straight down this fairway and try and get this thing down there close so that we can get to three down. Going to take my P-Line FD. 
try and throw this thing as straight as I can. Off on the left in the rough. That shot wasn't that great. This is the type of disc golf that I love where you have to shape shot and kind of go through tighter fairways instead of more open type of holes. So this is my type of course right here. I am absolutely loving this course so far and I will definitely be coming back in the future. We're gonna be tucked in on the left side rough. The disc is just right, here I'll take you in here and show you. It's gonna be right there. From in there we have to go right to the basket right there. All right, we pitched out of the woods and just picked up the par. We're gonna move on to hole eight now. Hole eight here is 175 feet right over the creek right here. I'm gonna take a putter to this and just try and throw this thing right under the basket and miss those trees. Get under it. All right, we're safe there. We should have an open putt at it. for us. Hole nine here and the final hole at South Fork Park is going to be right down there. The sign says it's about 401 feet, par four. So I'm going to take my DD3, pump it out to the left side a little bit, and I more than likely won't get it under the basket or nearly as close as I like, but we'll see what we can do here. off on the right in the rough just a little bit. I threw that way too high. Yeah, we're not too far actually off the fairway here. I'm gonna pitch up with my A3 and hopefully put this near the basket so we can clean up the birdie for the last hole. Whoa, that was not a good approach actually. We're gonna have a tester to get the birdie. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. We get no basket love here on this channel. It's going to conclude the front nine here at South Fork Park. I've had an amazing time out here so far. Make sure you leave a like down below, comment what you think about this course so far. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Right now on the front nine, I believe we are down three, which is pretty good for a brand new course. We're gonna head into the back nine and see how hot we can actually shoot. So stay tuned and I will see you in the next one.